Welcome back. We have a couple of things to do on Rannoch, the Quarian homeworld. Particularly, there are some Geth fighter squadrons for us to look into, that Legion told us about. And we have to see if we can rescue Admiral Chorus. And I think I'll probably do that first. After all, I think uh, we need Chorus as a stabilizing influence on the Admiralty board. He's the only one who's actually on our side. Okay. So, let's check the uh, Quarian homeworld. This is actually the fifth homeworld we're visiting in this game. We've been to Earth, um, Sirkesh, uh, Pelavan, I'm forgetting, and um, Tuchanka. And now Renok is up. Although its orange sun is only about 90% the mass of Sol and half as luminous, Renok is arid by Earth standards because it formed closer to its star and has slightly less ocean coverage. Photosynthetic life is concentrated around rivers and oceans, with large expanses of desert in between. The importance of plant life and shade in ancient Quarian culture is evident in the translation of Renok's name, Walled Garden. To a starship sensors, the most obvious feature of the Quarian homeworld is the numerous heat sources in orbit. Thousands of Geth space stations watch over the planet. Somewhere in this artificial swarm of construction lurks the Geth Armada, waiting for its moment to counterattack. Population unknown. Quarian estimates on the number of Geth range from the tens of millions to the single digit billions. Estimates on the number of Geth consciousnesses stored in servers are far higher. Okay, so. Expect heavy resistance, I guess. Unfortunately, we cannot see Rannoch as it was populated by the Quarians, as they haven't lived there for 300 years. Also, surface temperature 48 Celsius. If that's uh, an average, then it's a very warm planet. I hope Shepard brought his firma weave underwear. Let's start with um, Admiral Chorus. And although it is not required to take Tali on this mission, it is something I want to do. Because I will use her on all of the missions we have on uh, Renog. Simply because it's her homeworld, and she always wanted to see it. She's never been there. This is, in fact, her first visit. So it's kind of a momentous occasion even though they make more of a big deal out of it in uh, a later mission. Because they don't know that you've taken her now. Well, I guess they could change the dialogue, but they didn't. And, um, since we got Ashley back after the Citadel, and I haven't used her since, let's, uh, give her a chance. Actually, let's check if Ashley has any alternate appearances. What the hell is that? I mean seriously, what the hell is that? Okay, you're, you're not wearing that. Um, this looks more combat suited. Let's check the info. This gives shields plus 25%. This weird thing is weapon damage plus 25%, which I suppose is good for her. And that is also weapon damage. Still, I like this one best. Just because, I guess. Um, Alright. And it's not really a problem for me to use Tali in all of these missions, because, after all, she is kind of lagging behind in terms of mission count, since she was introduced so late. Um, okay, well, I still have the Paladin and the Tempest, of course. Tali is still has the Arc Pistol and the Eviscerator, but let's give her some mods on the Arc Pistol now. Piercing Mod and Heavy Caliber Barrel. Would be good. Ashley, we haven't uh, had her on the squad since Mars, so... 
Things have changed a bit. Well, the Mantis is still a good weapon for her. Um, extended barrel and piercing. As for the assault rifle, I like to give her the Revenant. Yeah, I know I haven't upgraded the Revenant. Because it's kind of expensive and I'm still hoping to buy a uh, Black Widow at some point. For uh, Garrus, and I guess I actually can use that too. If I have money left over after that, then I'll uh, deal with that. Um, magazine upgrade is something squad mates can use. But piercing and barrel are sort of the safe bets for a squad mate. This is a big gun, by the way, as you'll see. That seems to be okay, I guess. And I suppose we'll have lots of leveling up to do for Ashley, since we haven't used her in so long. And I can finish upgrading Incinerate. Freeze combo, well, since I don't use Cryo myself, that's kind of useless. So let's go with armor damage. Particularly useful against Reapers, I guess, since they have the most enemies with armor. We have don't have that many, unfortunately, but whatever. Three points for Tali, which is useless, and 36 for Ashley. So let's see what's good for her. Inferno grenade, definitely a useful grenade, so. Damage or impact radius. Let's go with damage. Capacity or damage. Let's go with damage again. Since I tend to forget to use grenades. So, Disruptor ammo is a good one. Because it's a very nice combination with tech powers. As I already explained before. Way back when Ashley was on our team before. And although I guess it would be useful to have squad disruptor ammo because of that, still, since I have warp ammo as my bonus power, we'll just go with damage. Ammo capacity is not really useful for squad mates. Headshot damage. Um, marksman. Well, let's go in passive skill first. Alliance officer weapon damage or durability. Um, let's give her weapon damage. Sniper rifles or power damage? Hmm. That's a tough one. I'll go with power damage. Nine points left. Meaning I could go 5-4 on this if I wanted. Why not? For concussive shot, we can choose between shatter or recharge speed. Only for frozen targets. That's kind of not that useful, actually. Neither is recharge speed. Shredder or... Amplification. That is useful, but not right now. But I can't do Marksman and something else. But I can do Marksman and then save up. Um... Now oh, what the hell, I'm just gonna go with recharge speed here. Marksman is accuracy bonus or firing rate bonus. I guess firing rate is probably the most useful for a squad mate, although I'm guessing there. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkaris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkaris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. 
I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Alcor has crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact me. Be sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen. It's been a long time since Admiral Kordas left the spaceship. Let's hope he's all right. We'll see you in a minute. Take us in to the tower. I'm guessing the Geth aren't happy to see us. We're taking fire. Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here, in the land of my ancestors, As I said before, she makes a bigger deal of it in a later mission, even if you've taken her on these missions. But for now, let us admire the landscape. Because that's obviously the most important thing we came to do here. It is kind of a interesting looking planet. I always kind of like this, this style of desert landscape. I don't know, maybe it's because of mist, which also seems to have a preoccupation <laughs> with deserts. Kind of uh, Monument Valley-like, these mesas. And the trees sort of remind me of Joshua trees. Of course, no insects on Rannoch, based on what we were told. Although plenty of birds. I also have to wonder, since the um, Quarian world is so close to the edge of the galaxy, if one side of their night sky would be significantly more empty than the other. Not something we can tell here, but I guess it could depend on what half uh, of what hemisphere you're on. And um, other things like the time of year and things like that, so you don't know if you could actually see that at the moment from this location, so... Anyway, nice looking planet. And let's get some ammo powers going. Because I have a feeling there will probably be Geth. I'll let Tali use the art pistol for now. Yep. See, that is a big assault rifle. Oh. That was the wrong uh, one. That was a concussive shot. I meant to do that. Okay. Wait, was that a meteorite? No, it's the anti aircraft gun. It's going the other direction. Well, at least uh, we can see where we're going. What are they shooting at, by the way? The fleet in orbit? Or is Cortez trying to uh, do something stupid? Geth everywhere, civilians in trouble. Remind you of anything? Eden Prime. So much for the Alliance's story about the Geth being wiped out. We tried to tell people the real story, but no one on the Citadel would listen to Quarians. Yeah. Listening would have forced them to get off their asses. I guess it is kind of uh, nostalgic in that way. Looks like we have a crash there. Well, if we're lucky, this happened will call us, and then uh, we're done. We don't even have to deal with the tower.
And we've got a new Geth enemy here. Though if you've watched the multiplayer videos, you've seen them before. Pyros! Which are annoying. Um... Let's see, they haven't spotted us though. So let's try and... Uh, Why is that? Oh, I thought it was—I thought it was red, but it wasn't. Okay, the um, concussive shot and energy drain, <laughs> all at the same time. He's dead, unsurprisingly. Pyros, as the name implies, use flamethrowers. They're not that bad at distance, but if they do get close to you, you will be dead fairly quickly. Where are you going, Charlie? They're an excellent enemy to use sabotage on, because they'll, uh, if they're walking in a group of enemies, they'll turn their flamethrowers against their friends. And that, that Geff just disappeared. And I guess he's from the crash. No survivors from the looks of things. Which is not good. No sign of chorus, though. They came so far. We need to radio Zal Chorus if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Let's. Also looking for stuff, of course. Ah! Landmines. Geth have been busy. We've seen those on the Dreadnought before. And there is a javelin here. The uh, javelin is a sniper rifle. It's actually a Geth sniper rifle. Which makes sense if you think about it. Called the Javelin by Alliance Marines, this Geth weapon holds a reservoir of ferrofluid, magnetically drawn into the firing chamber and expelled at lethal speeds. Like a high-pressure water jet, the ferrofluid cuts through nearly anything it hits, with so much heat that it resembles a beam of light, causing terrible wounds. It is um, a weapon that has, as the description implies, a lot of piercing power, and it actually has a special scope that allows you to see enemies behind walls and uh, smoke. And you can actually shoot enemies through light cover, and if you put a piercing mod on it, even through some fairly thick walls. Other than that, despite being one of the most powerful sniper rifles in the game, because it is still a single shot weapon and you're still limited by shield gate, which is the fact that if an enemy has shields, there's a, you can take its shields down, but very, um, can do only very limited amounts of damage to... Uh, the health while it has shields, even if there's only one block of shields left on the enemy, it will still block you from doing damage to, to their health. I'm not entirely sure how much shield gate there is in the single player at various difficulty levels. I do know that on gold difficulty in the multiplayer, only 10% of your remaining shot damage um, is passed to the uh, the health if the shield was up. Which is very little, making single shot sniper rifles a bit pointless regardless of how powerful they are. And that goes for the javelin too. So I'm going to go and let them use the mantis. Oh, and of course, that has screwed up all my weapon loadouts again. Because that's what this game likes to do. I hear Geth. Geth patrol, right below us. I see them. A rocket trooper!
really any good cover here, but then we don't seem to... What the hell is blocking my uh, overloads? We don't really seem to need it. Let's see. Sabotage. Okay. More dead Koreans. That's not okay. I keep thinking there's something nearby, but all we're hearing is the. Uh, AA gun. AA guns dead ahead. Okay, we've got an AA gun. And we've got Gaff. Not surprisingly. Um, drones would help. useful to sabotage something a bit more powerful, but... Oh. And that one, uh... Gun has a control panel. Let's check it out. Oh, and there's a Gef Spitfire here. Heavy weapon. All kind of useless now. But, uh, who knows, we may have to use that later. We're not near the tower yet. At the moment, it seems there's nothing here. Nothing to pick up or salvage or whatever, just a Spitfire. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Um, well, you're the tech expert. Tally, you take the guns. No problem. Incoming gas! Why am I not surprised? Well, we've got this. Remember the prime. Just deploy some drones first. It's a bit hard to hit from uh, from here. Um. It increases firing rate as you hold down the trigger, as you can tell. Or I hope you can tell. At least 
still have a single gap. Oh, that was pointless. AA gun is offline. Good. Now let's shut down the two by the tower. Okay. So we have more AA guns to take out. And more Geth incoming. I don't think I don't see you. Because I do. Um, I guess we have to go up there. And there is something up here. An assault rifle magazine upgrade. And the med kit. Both of which are, of course, always welcome. I see more trip mines. Oh. Uh, it hadn't triggered yet. So that was a bit premature. <laughs> uh, all right. Is that a moon? It does look like it. That is quite a large moon. Either that, or it's just it's just really, really close. And our upgrade up here. Shotgun shredder mod. Gift parts to salvage. And a trail of blood. Leading to We found someone. Dorn Hust. You You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorn hatched. I... Uh, uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I thought I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go, look for the Admiral, destroy that jamming tower, and you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Corus can get us out alive, and my son, tell him. Tell Jonah. That his father made it to the home world. We will rest well, Dorn Hast Vas Renok. Let's get to that tower. By the way, Jonah seems to be extremely unlucky because we saw uh, f uh, we saw a similar farewell message from his mother during Tali's loyalty mission. Assuming it's the same Jonah. Also, are they all going to be called Vas Renok? <laughs> if they do reclaim the homeworld? That's gonna be confusing. An SMG magazine upgrade. I guess he doesn't need it anymore. Oh. I did not mean to do that. too bad, really, that all we get to see are these geth structures. I would have liked to see some actual Quarian architecture, like we saw those ruins on uh, Tachanka, which was my favorite part of Tachanka. So we've seen geth stuff before, and the only Quarian architecture we've seen before was in Haystrom, which looked like an industrial area, so it was not that inspiring or anything. So this is kind of a missed opportunity, I feel we don't get to see any real quarry and stuff. We got to go either left or right here. Let's go right first. Get 
There is a turret there, much like the one we used on uh, Pelovin. We've seen them on a few other places too, I think. That is the idea. But let's also look for stuff. You know that is my primary motto in these games. And that door is locked. It needs to lead to the other side of the tower, so... Unless there's something important on the inside, I guess we can always just walk around. I have a feeling this turd is not there for laughs. It is probably important at some point. An Armex Arsenal chest plate. Not sure if that's going to be useful. Depends on what it does. But hey, better than nothing. What are you shooting at? Are you just trying to shoot birds? Which one of us should shut down the gun? Well, Tommy is still the tech expert. I want you on this, Tally. Right. Shepard, you should be able to use the gas turret. I think so. That should make things easier. Love the turret makes short work of him. Done. It's gun's offline. Let's get the last one. Get oh. by the door. That was easy. Let's um sabotage him. See now he goes after the other guys. And they shoot him. You can also kind of hard to demonstrate on purpose. Shoot uh, the fuel tank on the back of a prime, which will catch fire and then cause them to explode. Although it does take a while, and usually somebody else will kill them before they do explode. Oh, there's more Gef here. Oh. That was wasted. Oh. I guess I'm at least using marksman now. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, turrets. That was close. Can we get all of them? Looks like it. What's this? Jamming tower data. Looks like data on the jamming towers. Could be useful. Wasn't there someone on the Citadel looking for... GEF jamming technology? I think there was. So now we found it. What's down here? I have no idea. Let's deal with the... Tower. Why is Tali blocked? She doesn't look dead. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? I want you on this, Tally. Right. You know she's legitimately blocked. Well, there's another turret here. So I'm guessing we're gonna need it. Sort of this 
disintegrate. Signal the shuttle. Very good. Wait, where, where were we storing the flare gun? Good shooting, Cortez. Commander Shepard. Dorn didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The gears have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. Unfortunately, I think, um, or unfortunately for his crew, um, I think that based on what we're told, we're going to need Chorus to hold back Zen and Geral. And this is one thing where you do need a fairly significant amount of reputation to be able to use these options. Uh, I can use them both because of the fact that it no longer matters if you have Paragon or Renegade points. As long as you have enough of either, you can use either option. But um, if you don't, you won't be able to uh, save course. You go with... You have to uh, save his people, and that has some other uh, impacts later on. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. That's uh, one way to take care of them. Why don't we do that more often? Death behind you! Get in cover! They're shooting at the shuttle. Well, I think it can probably take more punishment than Admiral Chorus, so... That's not necessarily a bad thing. Kinda of difficult to aim this thing. There, still one left. There. There's more. Damn it! They keep hiding. Admiral, come on! That was some brilliant targeting. Welcome aboard. Shepard, my crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello? This is Zell Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. 